Hey, 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 welcome to Fantastic TV, guys. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing fine. Long time, no city down talking, no gist. <laughs> So guys, um, if you don't know me, this is Momtastic TV. I'm a mom YouTuber based in Accra, Ghana with my lovely family. Yeah, if you don't know, I just had a newborn baby boy, okay? <laughs> Welcome to my channel, okay? See, forget all these things, so oh, it's packaging, oh, yeah, hair by me, oh, makeup by me, oh, everything by me, oh. <laughs> I'm a beauty specialist and also a chef, and I'm a bit designer as well, okay? I also have my cooking channel, please subscribe to my channel, okay? So guys, uh, basically, you know the title of this video, without wasting your time, let's dive into this video okay let's just start okay <laughs> okay guys um today we are going to be talking about why i choose a cs bed like cesarean session bed okay <laughs> Hmm. I got an email concerning that ah mom fantastic. You told her that you gave birth through vagina with five children. Yes, I did. So this sex one, <laughs> it was not easy. It's to save my life and the child's life. So we have to consider it. Or if we don't want to be seeing me again or what? Hmm. 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 Okay, guys. So, <laughs> so today I'm here to tell you guys why I choose the cesarean session, which is the CS, yes, giving birth through cesarean is not a bad thing, actually, it's not a, 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 I don't know, how should I put it, for me, it's not a bad thing, it's to save women's life, yeah, it was during back in the days that women used to die ignorantly, because they can't push their child, their child is too big or complication, whatever, why don't you just accept for them to cut your stomach and bring the baby out, there's no big deal with that, all of us, we are all equal, be it vagina birth, be it cesarean, and I'm so lucky to experience both of them here. Yeah, so that's why I'm sitting here to tell you guys that it's not a bad thing here. Yeah. So actually, why I consider the cesarean session? Let me put my wig where we go. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, why I consider the CS? Because I told you guys in my other video I uploaded last time that um because of I was in labor for so many hours. I was actually in labor Friday saturday then saturday 11 pm i told my husband that i was purging i don't really understand because throughout the pregnancy like most time i used to purge i vomit a lot and my my sickness does not come in the morning it comes in the night in the night i'm always sick i'll be vomiting i'll be having fever my temperature will be rising i never tested malaria for one day yeah throughout the pregnancy yeah so during that day that fateful day april um second let's let me just start on april april 1st yeah april 1st i think it was friday yeah so i started having construction it was not that hard it was not steep. like it was not even like something that i would even think of so on saturday office was my antenatal day with my doctor and i went to the hospital and it was my turn to for the doctor to attend to me he checked on me he checked on the baby heartbeat and he said that oh the baby and he even or uh, put his hand inside my thing so hmm, he put his hand inside my v yeah and he noticed that the baby is um close by but the baby hasn't turned yet yeah so that was it too hmm. so <laughs> he told I and my husband that oh the baby will soon come that we should go home and go and pack the baby things and I'll, I should also pack my okay guys this is where I was in the hospital this is the labor bed let me call it labor room yeah so I was here this my husband was the one recording yeah he was the one doing the video in so this is where I was between life and death and by this time the doctor have already come we have said that he's going to book me for the operation so we are going to do it any moment from now so i was just the praying and be thinking i was just like god please save my life please don't let my husband go through care of the children don't let him go through pain please save my life so that we can both raise the children together that's what i was just saying i was just like god please save my life i'm your daughter i 
I promised to repent from every evil that I was doing, even though I, I was not doing any evil. They saved my life because I know that the devil is waiting to take me. I wish for so never guys, walk. Uh, okay, you put so guys, so guys, in my feet enjoy the video. Okay, you see that the baby was coming and he asked us to go home to go and pack our things, pack the baby things, and come to the hospital later. So when I'm having severe pain, I should come to the hospital if the labor is coming severely, like hard. I should come to the hospital. I said, okay, so I. I and my husband we came home and I was at home that day, Saturday, and I was having labor at first, but so 11 p.m. as I said, I was purging and I have to tell my husband that baby 11:30, let's go to the hospital, let's go and see. So we went to the hospital and the, I was on labor till we get to the hospital. Immediately we get to the hospital, I was still on labor like I was in labor and I was not I was feeling pain like total pain my water didn't break nothing nothing uh, discharging was not coming nothing so I have to tell them there was two midwife young midwife were there that day and they attend to me and she was like are you feeling pain I say yes are you feeling pain I say yeah. it gets to some point around I think 2 a.m. so that's where I Stop breathing and the baby had because the baby had me was uh, she keep on checking on the baby heartbeat and the baby had me was coming all through but at one point which was 2 30 a.m. or 3 a.m. the baby had me drop and bam I couldn't breathe nothing nothing so she had to support me with oxygen which I have not uh, taken oxygen before so I was on oxygen and before they would check the baby heartbeat they have to she have to put on like she have to give me the oxygen before the baby heartbeat will come so I was the oxygen was supporting me like I was breathing through the oxygen as well so the baby was not coming, nothing. At a point, my labor got cut off. No more contraction, nothing, nothing. I was not feeling pain. I was just normal. I was lying on the labor bed. I will show you guys in a clip. I will just put it down there. So I was on labor bed. I was just there. She asked me, are you feeling pain? I said, no. Is the labor coming? Are you having contraction? I said, no. So she was like, ah, but you were having labor at the time. Can I said, my sister, that's how I saw it too. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> So around 3.30 or 4 a.m., she now called the doctor and said, oh, I'll be here all this while and the baby is not coming. So the, the doctor came and he checked on me and he said that because the doctor went home at first, then they called him back that because he left everything for the midwife to take care of, which um, it was not possible, okay? So the, the, the doctor checked and he said that, no, madam, we have to save your life and the baby's life as well. So we are going to um, operate on you this moment to bring out the baby so that you'll be fine as well. I was like, wait till the way for sense. <laughs> so <laughs> I said, okay, discuss it with my husband. And he did. And my husband asked me, am I okay? I said yes that baby the pain is too much and now I'm, I stop feeling pain and what's the next thing to do so Jesus got our back yeah anyway <laughs> I'm like we're gonna do this thing fast make I come up for here <laughs> oh my god so um my husband said okay so the doctor said okay so I have to go to the theater I walk to the theater yes I couldn't film my husband see everyone was on tension I was on tension my husband was on tension even the baby inside me was on tension <laughs> everybody was on tension I'm like God please save my life so that I can come here and come and tell my people that, that yes I made it alive oh we could have me thank God though <laughs> so that was it guys um we went to the theater they gave me an anesthesia and I slept I didn't sleep oh so my eyes were just open and they were operating on me. I don't even know what was going on. What, 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 the only noise I can hear is that the doctors, they were talking while they were operating on me. And during the time that they get to the point to pull out the baby, I also saw my baby. And I was like, Jesus, thank you. I'm finally free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's what was just going through my mind. Yeah. So, um during that time they got finished and every 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 other thing and they took the baby to the recovering uh, room and they also took me like 30 minutes time they took me to the recovery room that's when my husband got to see me and said thank you jesus he saw the baby first before me and he was like where's my wife 
Where's my wife? <laughs> but when he saw me, he said, Oh, thank you, Jesus. Like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm still here. Thank you, Jesus. God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you to all my subscribers. Like, <laughs> the, my Facebook subscribers. I didn't announce it, but most of them saw me on the way while I was going to Antineta. And one of my friends as well, she also saw me while I was coming from Antineta. I was on my due date. So the next day, I was going to do like the next day i supposed to give them because i'm already on 39 weeks and four days so like my best um my best stories is like um like my 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 babies are normally 37 weeks so no extra days be added to but this one it took 39 days uh, 39 weeks and four days yeah even at a point i was tired i was like god please let this baby come let, you know when you get to a point that you can't take it again you are like every moment you are praying for god let this baby come let this baby come let this baby come let this baby come that's how i was i've never been tired in my pregnancy before but this one i'm like <coughs> i can't take this anymore yeah <laughs> i gotta sit down to shoot video for my fans okay <laughs> i'm like baby come okay Seriously, during the pregnancy, I can't do anything. I can't, like, I will just be lying down. Like, I don't get angry, like, when I was I was pregnant for this baby. I don't get angry. Like, little things don't piss me off. I'm always, on like, in a good mood. Like, I, I can't eat. I don't have appetite to eat. The only things that I can easily eat is liquid. I can take juice fruits like the fruit i have to process it before i take it and when i hear the smell it's trouble i can't take it anymore so the pregnancy was so dramatic that even me myself i don't even understand i was thinking i was pregnant for girl even though i was not expecting girl see in my life there is no girl for most of you saying that oh fantastic don't go again you give birth to plenty boys i tell now say i want girl i've been looking for girl for over how many years now i don't get so i give up i tell my husband let's just make it a football team which is six and here now i think six is uh, is football half of it don't mind me i'm just joking <laughs> seriously guys i wasn't looking for girl because i know that in my life i can't get girl so i end it there so this one the pregnancy I want I just tried I said okay since there are five boys already let's just add one so I close for now not that later I'll say I want to give the one in my 50 no it can't happen I want to be free now I want to be free right now so that's how <laughs> that's how it came it was no plan please though it was no plan yes it was no plan at all the pregnancy was no plan for most of you that is asking me the pregnancy plan oh we thought that you were looking for a girl yes i was looking for a girl long time ago like 2015 2011 2012 i was looking for a girl i didn't get my sister i cannot come my kid myself because i'm looking for girl uh -huh. even my in-laws have not disturbed me for girl my husband have not disturbed me for girl it's me myself that is disturbing myself that I said I want girl because I wanted something that if I look at I'm like damn is this how I am <laughs> that's how I, I wish I had a girl yeah but heaven didn't grant it so maybe in my next world I might have a girl I don't know please you push your pray for fantastic to have a girl yeah so that's it guys um my birth story was very very dramatic and it was um <clears throat> i can't lie it was very hard it was <laughs> it was not funny at all i'm just here laughing it was not funny at all but in all i give god all the glory okay i thank god so much for saving my life and the baby's life it was not easy because i stopped breathing and the baby heartbeat was not coming as well so the doctor has to do his magic and god finish the rest yeah so that's it if i yes that's how to say it <laughs> so guys so that is it that's why i gave birth through uh caesarean yeah so it's not a bad thing please for most of people that are saying it's a bad thing you are not a full complete woman who told you that eh don't i have everything that a woman have ah uh -uh, waiting is it to come from here 
So please stop saying that we are all equal, women, we are all equal, be it vagina beds, be it a caesarean session, CS, oppression, whatever you call it. It's also best. Children, are they not children? Eh? Are they not the same children? Or is there the one that uh, the caesarean one, they put uh, animal skin on their skin? No, they are all children. So please, okay? <laughs> So to save my life and the baby's life, we have to consider that, okay, please, okay. So that is it. That's my cesarean birth story, okay. It was so wonderful, even though the pain after, <laughs> it was not funny at all. When I, I was in the hospital, I barely, I can't move, I can't cough, I can't sneeze, I can't laugh. I just, when they are talking to me, I'm like, I'll be nodding, <laughs> I'll be nodding my head. So the pain was not funny at all. Yeah, it was. But after the pain, you are okay. As you are seeing me, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. Totally okay. There is nothing wrong with me. Okay, I don't feel pain anymore. That place is completely healed. This coming Sunday will be one month. I'll be, me and the baby will be one month. Okay, the baby will be one month since I gave birth to him. He will be one month, and also. There is nothing to be worried about and it was my husband that was helping me out we have no help i have no help i don't want a house of drama at all i'm doing the things myself please so we have no help it's my husband that is doing the the buffing of the baby cleaning of the baby doing the child's circumcision is it was him that was there holding the baby so if I'm okay, I can do all those things, but now I'm okay, I can move, I can laugh, I can, you know, I can bath myself now, I can do it, really, I can't do anything before, during the time I did the caesarean. I can't clean myself, I can't do anything, but now I'm totally fine, I can apply makeup, I can put on my wig, I can wear my clothes myself, I can cook, give the children food, bath the kids, my husband will help me with the baby, yeah, because I can't really bend too much, yeah. So, is everything is okay. It's not a bad thing to give birth to Caesarean, okay? So, guys, that's my best story. So, uh, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? So, guys, um, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, I will drop it here for now. Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Please comment, okay? Whenever you watch my video, please comment. If this video was helpful to you, please share it out thank you so much this is Montastic tv yeah. <laughs> okay guys i will see you in my next video me that was bye